All right, tonight we're putting the local mainstay Aladdin's Eatery Center stage starting in Lakewood in 1994. It has since expanded with chains and offshoots all over town, making Northeast Ohio fall in love with Lebanese food. And our pal Doug Tratner, who's also a fancy chow hound, went there to see how the magic happens and how they get it done. I'm with Vera Shimon, the, uh, one of the owners of Aladdin's. And uh, not only Aladdin's, but Boaz and Taza. Yep. How many Aladdin's restaurants do you have right now? We have 33 Aladdin's restaurants and two Taza a Lebanese grill restaurants. And um, we also have uh, Boaz Cafe and Sitos. And where yeah. are we today? We're at Jasmine Bakery. Well, I understand you're actually like baking pitas back there yes, right now. Yes, we are. Yep. Do you mind showing us around a little Absolutely. bit? Absolutely. Let's go. You're immediately hit by the yep. moisture. Yeah, you feel the, the heat. Fresh baking bread. You feel the heat and you smell the pita right when you walk in uh, here. This is yeah. the one that we've been missing. <laughs> we dump them all into this mixer. It mixes for about 20 minutes to 25 minutes. And then we roll this, this container out and we let it rise. So this is the dough that's going to go into the hopper. We load it up on this lift. Once it comes out of the cutter, it goes into little hockey puck shaped uh, dough balls and it goes through this first proofer. This first proofer gives it time as it goes down to the track here to rise. The yeast is activating. It's causing little gas bubbles to form in the, in the puck. Oh, so right here go. you can see the, the flattener where it flattens it one, once like a football. Second time makes it a disc. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way when it hits the oven and it's only in the oven for about 10 seconds and it's, you know, 1500 degrees, um, all that yeast, all that gas that's built up in there causes the pita to expand into a big ball. So if anybody's ever eaten at Aladdin's or, or Boaz or yep. Tosser for that matter, yep. they rave about the hot sauce. That's right. I know I love it. <laughs> right here's a batch that's ready to go in the mixer. So you see all the jalapenos and the red peppers. It's not like a traditional hot sauce where it's either like a lot of vinegar and I mean there's so many no, vegetables not. in here. Yeah, a lot of veggies. My mom's Sally, so she is the chef for Aladdin's that came up with all the delicious recipes and this was her thing. She always loved spicy food as long as I can remember. So Tina, what are we making here? We're making a falafel roll, and it's something you can of course order at the Aladdin Beauty restaurants and Boaz and Casa. We're using the fresh pita bread that we just made, as you saw, and this is one of the more popular ways to use pita bread, is rolled up as a sandwich. So you can use farefa with different garnishments. We have pickled vegetables, tomatoes, fresh parsley, and tahini. Would you like to try it? It's so good. First you get the crunch from the falafel, and then you get the herbs and the, and the crunch from the vegetables as well. But, I mean, this is what I always order when I go to Aladdin's. It just, and look how easy it is. You can drive with any of this. Yeah. <laughs> For 3 News, I'm Doug Tratton. Good stuff, Aladdin's. The factory on Berea Road in Cleveland also serves as a shop where anyone can buy goods like Tina's spice line, Terranian Herbs and Spices. You can also find her products at Heinen's, Miles Market, and Solon, and all the restaurants that her family owns.